It just made me happy to see like, okay, you could start to iterate your ideas into the designs, which is not an yeah. easy thing, right? It's, it's, it's a really tricky thing to do. For me, it's really important quality over quantity. I rather have six really good design iterations versus 20 mediocre ones. Yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to focus on. Uh, again, I feel more comfortable. I feel like I have more, uh, more power for iteration. Um, I used to struggle with uh, how much detail uh, to put into drawings uh, when it's just iterative. Mm -hmm. um, now I feel comfortable with just uh, implied detail. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the roughness, I feel like, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's nice. I'm happy with them. And I can see that. And it, it's a good approach just for the rough indication of detail because it's just the design sketch, right? That's why we yeah. do the frontal versions of it because we want to make it as simple before we turn it into 3D and also add a pose of the character. And oh my God, that, that helped a lot too because before I used to always design, trying to nail the pose, trying to nail everything all at once. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not ideal. Uh, yeah, so those are some of the ideas. General, that's kind of uh, more mood, I find. Nice. And there's some too. Yeah, good reference, yeah. So this is the, the first design iterations for the captain, right? He used to be a miner. He's escaped, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. um, he's also taken injuries uh, in, in one way or another. So, you know, some of my designs, he has prosthetic limbs or um, maybe he doesn't have hearing. So like those guys with the antennas, I kind of, you know, thought mm -hmm. of like a, oh he's like a radio head kind of guy like he can mm -hmm. use technology to hear again or or echo locate kind of deal um mm -hmm. so yeah this this guy has taken injuries from mining and and he's also escaped from it. Uh, now he leads a ship okay this this is really cool i like this I, I like the general this idea because it also gives him a more unique silhouette and readability from yeah. far we need to make sure that we exactly know what we want to take out of the pirate theme out of the pirate setting because eventually these are pirates in space the main behavior is a little bit the same justify a little bit also our design um, i don't have a problem like when they more armored but i would say um, we should still keep more of a um, lighter decision on when it comes to costume design but that doesn't mean that they cannot be heavily armored characters in there, right? So maybe there's the captain, which is more of a, um, he's more of a, has a lot of courage. He's uh, is not afraid, so he doesn't wear so much armor. When he has these radio antennas, maybe also the way he fights has to do with his costume. Because mm. what is important is that the costume reflects the character and the per personality of the character. When we do the design sketch that the layering makes sense. So in general, it's important you keep in mind that we have something soft and something hard on top of it. Let's say he sleeps without clothes and he gets up in the morning. How does he like takes off his, uh, takes on his armor? Like, is it one piece? Is it like three pieces? What we can try is we can try to go for more of a asymmetric design just to, to see if the readability is maybe a bit better and a bit more interesting, but also it needs to serve the functional way. So let's say one one side is shoulder padded. Like there should be a reason. Is he fighting with this arm? Is this more like a gladiator arm? So does he maybe has like this typical gladiator where they only had one shoulder pad and had all the armor on this arm and they had this little round shield. So maybe he could potentially have some sort of thing which he's using to fight so maybe he has like he uses these knives for close combat but in general then he uses some sort of gun um, magnetic shield or some sort of like um, stuff to protect because otherwise he's very light armor mm -hmm. right so this could be something you could try um and I would say, in general, for all these designs, I like this this typical hat design here, also yeah. with the shape and the mask. So these masks are like very unique, and also it gives you possibilities for your portfolio that you can say, okay, we need to design this mask. So 
we can basically make a prop design for the portfolio and then think about, okay, how is this mask looking actually? Is it a, a mask where it just sits on the front of the face or is it also going back? Is it a full, full headed mask that he puts on? Um, yeah. what, what's happened if we take the head away? Then is it is he basically ha has like still everything he is masked below that? Um, like you said, he had a a um, a issue where he lost his hearing, so maybe he needs yeah. the mask for seeing. Um, also, they go on these planets where everything is toxic. They go in the mines, so maybe he cannot yeah. breathe that properly anymore. These are all like background stories you can use for your designs. So in terms of that, um, it gives you possibilities, but. The decision is here on you to decide what would I would like to try. Put spikes on it to be cool and also it needs to function. So if he has something like an antenna and he would move up his arm, he would stab himself in the eye, um, that wouldn't be very practical. What could be a potential thing is maybe to think about asymmetry. His main weapon in a way. So um, like this could be a great prop design also thinking about, okay, maybe it's a special knife um, and then can try where to attach this knife right so it could be also here more diagonal it could be yeah. also like hanging here you know in the front um, when it comes to other stuff you can also put it on a chest mm -hmm. but then also depends what you have here if, if he has a surface where you can basically attach that or maybe some sort of belt over it where then stuff is attached on. Okay, and that's again this layering process which you need to keep in mind when you do this. Um, I, I think like this, these type of pants, this is very typical for these, for this pirate area. Uh, pirate era in terms of time same for these um, yeah. cool but maybe more for the general pirates you know for the normal dudes and women on the ship um, for the captain I would maybe give him something which really um, separates him from the normal crew members yeah. you know so maybe like a yeah, like a special like, a, like something special, like a code or something. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. If you also want to get mentored by me, make sure to check out my website, janoschmenesart.zone and apply for the mentorship. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Take care. Ciao, ciao.